Welcome to Fanny Magnet. Right now, in this video, I'll show you how you can replace the hard drive of a Apple Time Capsule as well as how you can clean the Apple Time Capsule. So let's get started with the video. Now, uh, I have put the you know the Time Capsule upside down. And the first thing what you will notice here that there is a little rubber kind of thing here okay now this rubber base gives you you know gives a grip to apple time capsule so that it does not move from one place to another so the first thing you just have to pull this rubber out okay now you need to know that this this area is little sticky and this gets stick on this one do not use any kind of you know the fabric or any kind of adhesive or a glue to stick this okay just when you keep it with the time it will get stick okay so remove this once you're done and here you will notice there are few screws okay here 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 so we will have to remove that so we'll remove that and let's see And the screws are oh, standard one, okay? So you can see. The standard screws. So as you can see that I have removed all the screws now. So now you just have to pull, pull this thing up, okay? and just be a little careful because so from here there is a little connector you know this fan cable is going here there is a little connector here you just have to uh, uh, put it put it you know plug it unplug it and the fan will come out let me show you here we go so just take a look on how is the connector so this connector goes on the on the motherboard and the fan rotates so let's go back to the time capsule and if you see here there's a little hard drive okay this is the same hard drive which is uh, which we can use in the desktop so this is a 2 tb hard drive uh, in case if anything you know if anything happens with the hard drive you can simply remove the hard drive from here you know just let me show you how you can remove it like this here we go there are no screws attached to it okay you just need to disconnect two cables which are here that is the power cable and SATA cable once you are done with that just remove the hard drive and everything is good to go and this fan generally you can clean with this kind of brush okay like this this fan is uh, installed in this uh, time capsule so that you know it can keep this whole time capsule clean and so on because you will see if you notice here there there will be a little uh, dust here because this is the place where fan sits okay so you can clean it here and i will suggest not to blow air from your mouth instead you can use this kind of blower because i don't want uh, the little kind of a uh, you know water vapors goes onto motherboard so clean this thing like this and just let me show you a closer look now here we go this is the hard drive this place is completely for you know which is responsible for giving you a wireless network and security and so on so if anything goes wrong with the hard drive you can just simply open four to five screws and disconnect uh, replace the hard drive definitely you can get a technician and you can fix this but by doing it yourself it will be easy and you can save few bucks on that so 
this is how the whole things look from inside of a time capsule so I'm going to close this thing now and so this first thing same thing again that you have to connect the you know the, the fan the cooling fan first here we go and then place it here and then once again take all the screws and put it back Now in order to get this thing, when we want to put this thing here, you just first you need to check which will be the place you will be placing this. So if you look here, there is a little cut, okay, this kind of cut. So this cut will generally come on this side because if you can see here, there is a completely same kind of design which is made here. So what we are going to do now, this is a double tape, okay, I'm going to take this double tape like this and we can we can pay, take a kind of this kind of little double tape kind of thing and just place it in few distance I'm going to use two I think because that's good enough to keep a hold of this rubber and when you will tear it off it will have a glue on both the sides so one side will get stick on that the time capsule and the other one will come on the the rubber part here we go see this is the you can see And here we go. And then we'll go ahead and place the rubber back and everything is good to go. Now, so this was a short video on how you can replace the hard drive for your time capsule. If you think this video was helpful, this video was worth watching, hit the like button. For more such videos, you can subscribe to the channel and as always, thank you for watching the video. Have a wonderful day.